and the Audi owns the wiggly bits and again side by side in Luffield and they've got the G drive car that's Hi everyone, this is Asu and welcome back to Motoring Show. At the moment I'm standing at the race court in Linie in the Suisura and in a minute before I had a beautiful interview with the Marcel Fossler and as you know he's driving Audi 18 e-tron quattro and this Audi is running with a diesel engine and now I'm going to show you how I assemble my diesel engine. After painting the engine block I had to wait one day to dry out the color. Now I'm going to prepare the engine block for building all parts back together. Assembling the engine is a complicated sort of a thing, if you have no idea of it, that's why I need a Walter again. Out of a bunch of parts, we create the running engine, like this one here. First step, we prepare the rods. We use the old ones. But first we check and then adjust them, so they are straight again. This is a job where you need a lot of experience. Now we get the new piston ready. Walter check first if all the piston and oil rings fit and make sure we have the right size piston rings and the gaps are in the tolerance. After everything looks alright we load the piston pin into the piston and the connecting rod. This little tiny clips goes on each side of the piston, they hold the pin in a place. Finally we put the upper bearing shell in place. Rule number one, everything has to be clean. Rule number two, clean as possible. Now it's time to lay the bearing shells for the crankshaft. While I'm cleaning the intake. The crankshaft nut goes to his place and the housing is closed. We have to lube up all the bolts before we load them in. The four pistons are ready too. This housing shelf makes it easy to squeeze the piston rings together to push the piston to their working place. And again, Walter puts a lot of oil to the cylinder walls to make things sliding smoothly. This is the counterpart of the rod and is connected from the bottom side of the cylinder block. We use the torque wrench in a specific setting, not to overstretch the bolts. The head gasket job is to seal the block from water, oil and air. The gasket sits between the block and the cylinder head. Now we put the bolts in. He oils the thread and drops them in. My job is to tighten them by hand before using a torque wrench, as usual, the assistant job. Always use new bolts, it saves you much trouble. The finishing part is to fiddle around with the screws of the oil pan and make sure this pot is tight to hold the oil back. Thank you guys for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you like it, just give me a thumb. Please leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you and your idea. And follow me on Instagram, Facebook. Thank you. Bye.